Hey guys, it's Comic Uno, and today's topic video is on top five DC reboot titles. And the person who recommended me to do that is Jay Money Sanchez. And let's see what my top five DC reboot titles are. And I have the five titles right here. So the fifth, my fifth favorite DC reboot title is Green Lantern. And one of the reasons it's my favorite, um, I have all the issue threes, so I don't know if I mentioned that, but uh, I have all the issue threes over here. That way I can show it, maybe you guys will want to pick it up or whatever. So the reason Green Lantern is one of my favorite reboot titles is because it continued, like something that really surprised me, is that it continued from before the reboot. And now there's a whole War Green Lantern thing going on. And really it was a reboot also because Sinestro's new Green Lantern. And really the setup from what the War Green Lantern left us on really made it a great reboot topic and reboot idea, summary, whatever. And uh, I thought it was really great. And so far I've been loving it, really. And I uh, love how it's still Green Lantern, even though he wasn't a Green Lantern at the end of War Green Lantern. So many Green Lanterns in that sentence. But uh, anyways, I've really been loving this series. And if you haven't been picking up, and if you haven't re read the War Green Lantern, you still understand it. But you have a better understanding if you read the War Green Lanterns. And I, like I said, I've been really enjoying this series. And if you haven't been picking up, you should try it. So my next series that I really like, my fourth favorite series from DC Reboot, is Teen Titans. I've always loved Teen Titans, even from before the DC Reboot. Uh, but all the characters really great and really surprising because they're different, but I still liking them. Like Red Robin, he's not that different. His just his costume's different. But Wonder Girl is so different. Superboy so different. And then we're getting all these new characters, and I think as stories go on, uh, I think they're gonna be a really great team. And I can't wait to learn more about how different they are. And uh, so I just always love Teen Titans, and I think it's been pretty good. Except issue three wasn't that great, but. It's been pretty good uh, set up and surprisingly good because I didn't have high expectations for this series. But it's one of my favorites and something I look forward to for DC Reboot every month. So my next one is something I did expect to be one of my favorites and that's Batgirl. Seeing Barbara Gordon back and really seeing a story just not in the superhero life. It's also giving her a secret identity story a lot, which we don't get to see that much in DC Comics. And I like to see that we do see that. We get to see Barbara Gordon also. And that's what I really love about this series, so this is definitely my uh, third favorite uh, series for DC Reboot. And um, can't wait to see more from Batgirl and see more of really what happened for, with Oracle and really how much happened before DC Reboot. So I'm excited to see what's going on and uh, can't wait to see what happens next in this series. So if you haven't been picking up this series, you should try and read it. Next is something really I unexpected only liked in this uh, DC reboot and just tried and because I'm not a big Superman fan you guys probably know what it is already but um action comics really I haven't been a big Superman fan in a while uh, I've always liked Smallville and everything and you know Superman the anime series and all that and him and Justice League and stuff but I never really said you know I'm such a Superman fan I'll pick up his series and everything I still don't pick up his series but I never picked action comics and adventure comics maybe once or twice I would pick it before DC reboot but really this is giving a new story Superman and I've been loving each issue learning more about this new Superman and really loving Superman from this I haven't picked up the Superman series because her is not as good but really, I've learned so much from action comics we got in good villains like Lex Luthor. We're getting to see Lois Lane, Jimmy Olsen, just in a new light. And I've really been really, really loving this series. And if you haven't been picking up, if you don't even like Superman, try this series. Because I think you might fall in love with the character. And you know, for people who know, oh, he's such an icon and everything, we know everything about him. It really is a different story. Totally different story. And I think there's a lot of good stories to come. So if you haven't been picking this issue up... Uh, this series up, uh, I think you should pick it up. Definitely my second favorite. And then my first favorite is something I didn't even pick up from issue one because I didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't really expect it to be that great. But then I said, you know what, I'm gonna pick it up, and I'm so glad I picked it up because it's one of my favorite series now, and that's Nightwing, another series that brings in secret identity and superhero life, bringing his past and bringing it to the present. And this is, has been one of my favorite, really one of my favorite series of all time. It's really my favorite series for DC Reboot right now. And I'm always so excited to get the next issue because it's really great. You know, like, it doesn't erase 
him being Batman. It just shows that he grew. And going back to Nightwing is not making him, oh, he's just back to Nightwing. Like, that Batman stuff was all, who cares? And, like, oh, it didn't matter. But really, it did matter. And he changed as a person. And him going Nightwing and him going back to the circus is not making him weaker. It's making him stronger because he's doing it all in different different ways, you know? And it's making... I don't know if they said in this cover. You can't escape your past. No, it's not in this one. But I think it was in the second issue, maybe. But they said, really bring your past into your present. And I thought that was great. And this is my favorite. If you haven't picked this series up, try to pick it up. Especially if you like the Bat Family. You really might like this. And uh, he's been doing a great job as Nightwing, Dick. And he's a great character. And I've been loving each issue. So that's my top five uh, DC Reboot titles. I would love to hear your top five DC Reboot titles and uh, how you've been liking the DC Reboot and really what titles, like I said, you really like and why you like them or just name your top five titles. So I hope you enjoyed my topic video and if you want to know more about my topic videos and video reviews and comic books, follow me on Twitter. In the description below there will be a link for my Twitter. And uh, follow my other channel on Twitter, The Random Situations, and in the description below will be that link also. So I hope you enjoyed your topic video. Tell me what you guys think of your favorite titles. And um, this was Comic Uno, and there will be another set of top, another topic video for my next set of reviews next week. So I hope you enjoy. See you guys.